Hey guys, Mio Takito back here with another video. So we are back here um, and we're ready to talk about the competition. Now the competition was held in Montreal, not Montreal, Quebec, Laval. So it's very interesting. Um, I ended up getting first on Saturday. Sunday I ended up getting third. Now my opinion on the whole contest itself, it was super fun because it was the national stage. It was my biggest competition to date. Um, the Saturday one, I did one first in my class. Now it was against one of my fans actually, so it was super awesome to um, compete against him and it was just fun to be on stage and it's definitely an honor to be on stage with one of my fans that, you know, because I make all these YouTube video videos, it's definitely awesome to meet someone who's been following me throughout. Um, did do the overall, did not win the overall. Um, I was looking at the point system and I did fairly well with the points, so... Um, it was it was definitely uh, you know it was well deserved um, by the individual who won. Um, incredible incredible physiques out there, especially at the overall you guys saw in the last video in the show day video. Um, but the Sunday show now the Sunday show um, I did the same routine. I looked a little bit fuller. Um, my skin was drier, so I looked better on Sunday. Although they did not like my posing. So I was doing a little transition. You guys know I do my transitions in a unique way, in a unique style. And I completely understand that not everybody will like it. Um, but I was called out for it. Uh, I did not make the changes. Um, I would kind of just stuck to my routine and was hoping for the best. Um, I thought when I was on stage that it was my hands possibly being closed because I was called out actually on the Saturday show for my hands being closed. So I opened up my hands. Um, again, I was called out for doing bodybuilding poses. So it was it was definitely a little nerve wracking at first. I, I didn't know what to do. I was I just kind of kept going because I didn't want to stop. Um, but the result of that did not work out and I ended up getting third. Um, there's two rounds. So I actually was supposed to be second um, because of the first round, the way the scores turned out. Um, but in the second round, I did not score the way I was supposed to, and they actually took the second round score, not the first one. I think it was more chose. I don't know if they cho choose the first round or choose the second one. I don't know if there's a specific one that they get to choose. Um, but they did choose the second score, and that ended up placing myself in third, um, unfortunately. Uh, so there's a total of, I believe, five or six competitors, and... Uh, if you see in the second show, my posing routine was completely changed. Um, I changed completely how I posed. Um, my transitions were no longer there. And I tried to make it a lot more subtle and more, you know, men's physique oriented. Um, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel like me. Um, I was kind of going based on what they were looking for. I know the judging system is, is, is definitely different for each show that you do. And it always depends on what the judges are looking for. So if they were looking for a more subtle look, and not necessarily, you know, the bodybuilder with the flexing in between transitions, um, then I have to adapt. And that was the goal for round two, was definitely to adapt to the situation, bring out a better package um, for the judges to hopefully give me a better score, um, because they did call me out. Um, unfortunately, it didn't work out, and uh, I definitely got to work on a new posing routine. Um, I know, I know it's so, so unique to me, like the way I pose is, it's always been that way and I've always been adjusting it and kind of uh, correlating it towards that style, uh, Ryan Terry you could even say, and uh, I know it's not liked, so definitely I'm going to have to make a few changes, I might use it for another show coming up, which I'll be explaining in a bit here, um, but I'm definitely going to have to make some changes, I'm going to have to make it a little bit more of a subtle flow of men's physique look. And um, that's going to be in the works here in the ne next, I guess, couple weeks. Um, there are a couple options I have, <clears throat> but you know, I'm I'm pretty disappointed about the Sunday show. I should have stuck to what I was doing, even if they called me out, and then after the show make changes because I think making those changes actually placed me in the worst position because they did call me out in the first round, and I still placed second in that first round. So. Um, Next, from what I learned, is stick to what you set yourself out to do, especially when it comes to your routine. Um, and then if they don't like it and if they don't, you know, uh, want that, it's really your call whether to change it. But what I've learned is to stick with it. If I need to change it, figure it out after, get the feedback from the judges and become a stronger and more 
um, advanced athlete, if that makes sense, like more learn from your mistakes. <laughs> so that's really my opinion. I'm, I'm a little disappointed on the Sunday show, uh, but I did come there to get the Poland qualification. So I'm actually qualified now to compete in Poland and that's going to be either October or September. So I'm really excited for that. That was my main objective and I did get that. So I am happy about that and unfortunately did not get a pro card, but there are more opportunities down the road. Um, and from here, to the next show, to the next show, it's about constantly getting better and it's always a you versus you battle. So um, if anything, I'm just gonna come in stronger, come in with a better physique and you know, beat what I had before. So, okay guys, now with all that said, on June 14th, June 14th is my next competition. I'm so excited to announce that I will be competing in Christian Guzman's Summer Shredding 2018. I will be doing the men's physique division and it's been a long time coming guys. I've always wanted to do one of his competitions. I've been following him for so long, since 2015, 2016, 2015, one of the two. But I've been following him for so long, he had, when he started out at a small gym, his own gym, his small own gym when he spray painted the wall, that was when I started following him and to see where he's come, to see how much he's accomplished and to where he is now, this is huge for me and this is gonna be and I thought I thought nationals was a big competition this is gonna be my biggest competition not just because it's a competition but because I, I, I mean I've been following this I've been following Christian for a really long time and um, you know he he's brought a lot of influence on me and the reason why I'm doing a lot of these YouTube videos is because of him and um, definitely he motivates me to push myself further. I watch a lot of his videos during cardio and uh, he grinds, guys. He grinds, he, he puts the work in and uh, he's a little bit of my own inspiration. So, Summer Shredding Classic 2018, you will see Mio Excuto on that stage. It's going to be a lot of fun, I'm going to meet a lot of people and at the end of the day it's a you versus you battle so I hope everybody, you know, brings in the best physique that they can bring. I'm just gonna have fun with it. I mean, I know it's, you know, a competition, but one thing I've learned about competitions, it's about having fun, enjoying the process, and knowing that when you're competing, you're competing against other people that went through an entire journey as well. So I'm going through a journey on my own. Everybody else will be going on the journey, and let's all have fun, let's enjoy it. It's the first ever Summer Classic 2018, and I'm so excited to be on that stage. And I just want to thank all of you guys for watching this video, um, anyone who's following me, and 2018, June 14th, Summer Shredding Classic. Let's get it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, please leave a like below, comp subscribe, and get Aesthetic Bra.